1945, our soldiers came home. What was the first thing that they did? They had sex. <laughs> 17 years later, those babies, they've grown. They've got jobs. They've got licenses. But they do not want to drive the same dull 50s cars that their parents drove. You see, kids today, they want glamour. They want a sex appeal. They want to go fast. Gentlemen, it's time for the Ford Motor Company to go racing. We're already in racing, Iacocca. NASCAR, it's, it's regional, sir. If you go to the movies, you, you open up a magazine, you don't see good old boys in Winston-Salem. You see uh, Sophia Loren, Monica Vitti. James Bond does not drive a Ford, sir. That's because he's a degenerate. See? Yeah, I'd like to be a degenerate. Um, just give me one second here. Is sir. this part of it? Is this going anywhere, Ayakoka? All right, all right, that's enough. Sir, if you just bear with me. Turn it off. Lights. <clears throat> Lee, in the last three years, you and your marketing team have presided over the worst sales slump in U.S. history. Why exactly should Mr. Ford listen to you? Because we've been thinking wrong. Ferrari. Now, they've won four out of the last five Le Mans. We need to think like Ferrari. Ferrari makes fewer cars in a year than we make in a day. <laughs> We spend more on toilet paper than they do on their entire output. You want us to think like them. Enzo Ferrari will go down in history as the greatest car manufacturer of all time. Why? Is it because he built the most cars? It's because of what his cars mean. Victory. Ferrari wins at Le Mans. People, they... They want some of that victory. Now, what if the Ford badge meant victory and meant it where it counts with the first group of 17-year-olds in history with money in their pockets? This would take years, decades to test and develop a race team capable of taking out Ferrari. Ferrari's bankrupt. Enzo has spent every lira he's got chasing perfection. You know something? He got there, and now he's broke.